Well, this Italian thing that's going on here, I thought I would try and show some respect for all the incredible creative work that's happened in Italy over this history. And so I wanted to talk about history. Certainly when we think of Italy, we think of thousands of years of beautiful objects that never ends and keeps going. So all in my life, I could only go back 50 years. So every object that I'm showing is at least 50 years old and uh, luckily has increased in value unbelievably. This was my first object, a, a vase, while I was going to school in Sweden. Uh, I paid $16 for it, and uh, it's worth quite a bit more now. So it became a symbol of classic mathematics of design and the relation of beautiful objects to the human, the human shape and size. So one of the first projects, while at the Dreyfus office, was being part of the measure of man. This, this book is over 50 years old now. We've all used it. And Al Tilly was one of the creators. And uh, a Bible, so to speak, of giving us a reference of how to work with our various sizes and unique uh, capabilities. Here we are 50 some years later. And this is the latest, okay, we have different sizes. We have gotten out of the military specifications into human specifications. But a whole world here that needs inventing, needs developing. We have to try and find a way to understand who we are and what we can do. And of course, uh, from the measure of man, we became very interested in seating. And this was the Pelly chair. No, that's not Joan. <laughs> and uh, uh, done over 50 years ago and still sold. It, it's never changed. There are thousands of these chairs, um, won many awards uh, with German technology, uh, lots of invention, multi-movements. This is, remember, 50 years ago. And uh, the ability for a chair to move in all directions have lift canals uh, to try and, uh, as you moved, uh, ventilate the seat and keep it cool. And uh, after that, I thought, uh, maybe I should show something fun, because all my life I loved automobiles. And certainly these modes of transportation uh, uh, give us a thrill. And that's really, I had a butch haircut, a very uh, narrow tie. And this is the way we started a very famous car, which is the Scarab. And uh, this sports car was built for Lance Reventlo, who was Barbara Hutton's son, and uh, proceeded to, uh, to dominate the world of sports car racing in the days when the English and Italians were dominant in, in racing. Here they are three years ago. And uh, all, all owned by famous people. And the car, the second one is the most famous one. It just sold to Mr. Uh, Mozart, who basically owned Stanford University and Palo Alto. He only paid $25 million for it. Higher than any Bugatti Royale, higher than any of the uh, Ford Can Ams. And all this does to us is reflect this power of age and the power of the word vintage and the power of more comfortable times. I mean, that car, uh, we laugh because it, it really wasn't very technically um, exotic. And certainly the European cars were more exotic. But it, uh, it proved that a group of global people could get together and uh, make a race car that could dominate. So the final words are really, let's all respect age and look at history and not only the, the future and use this uh, to move forward to an even more exciting world. Thank you.